Ani Maseyo, welcome or welcome back to Momoverse. So, yeah, from the thumbnail, you have already guessed that this is going to be a horror video. Um, honestly speaking, most of my subscribers were like, um, you should do more such horror videos. You should post more horror stuff. Uh, so I, I, I also. Uh, felt that uh, the views on the engagement that I have on my horror videos are comparatively more than the rest of my videos. So I don't know if you remember my past video of Bloody Mary where I told you the story of Bloody Mary and along with that I also performed the Bloody Mary challenge. If you have not uh, seen it then I will provide the link in the description. You can just go and check it from there. And there I have already promised that I would be doing a uh, a baby blue challenge i told y'all so i thought like if i'm doing a horror video then why not start with that once again so i thought like in this video i'll be telling you about the real story of baby blue um if you ask me i went through a lot of uh, websites and google just to know about the actual story because uh, when i searched on youtube then i found a lot of youtubers giving different different stories and i wanted to know the exact one so i went through uh, google and I found out one story which was mostly prevalent among most of the people. Um, so I'm going to tell you about that. So without much talking, let's just get into if the If we trace video. back to the origin of this baby blue challenge, then we can see that there is a lot of similarities between the Bloody Mary and the baby blue challenge. Okay, And it is also like an urban legend and an urban game that children used to play in the bathrooms or in any place where there is a mirror. So um, according to the game, like if you are playing it now, then you need to fold your hands like this as if you're holding a baby. And it is said that after uh, you say uh, baby blue, uh, blue baby 13 times and it is said that you can feel a weight on your hands okay and this was really scary this was the main uh, introduction that i got to know about the baby blue challenge and then I, I was like i need to know the in depth of what what is it all about so um actually this is a story of a girl named daisy blue daisy blue uh, just like uh bloody mary okay so she was also very beautiful most of the ghosts were always beautiful huh? and then ended up being a ghost i wonder if i will end up being a ghost someday okay so uh daisy blue she was a very beautiful woman but ever since she was uh born um she was not really liked by her parents because uh she was a girl um her parents favored her other, uh, other brothers and other sisters over her she was always like um like an extra piece in the family she was not really happy and gradually she grew up after she grew up she uh fell in love with uh with a man okay who was actually in military um now because of the fact that she was ignored in her childhood she was a very vinegar tempered woman you can say a, a vinegar tempered means ill tempered uh, she was ill tempered woman she uh, like kharoos you can say in hindi uh, but then she fell in love with this man and this man also fell in love with her and they got married i will keep the story short because i don't want this video to be a long one just like my previous video i'll keep it short because no one is interested in my bug bug of course so uh, of course they both of them fell in love with each other and even they got married uh, after they got married uh, daisy become ve became very happy because after a long time she was happy because she had someone who loved her after that days went by and they actually had a baby together and this is where the uh, name baby blue comes from. and after some days after uh, they had the baby daisy's husband was called for military okay because i already said that he was in the military so he was called there um and he went of course daisy was very depressed because the only person whom she loved the entire life or whom uh, from whom she got the love uh, also left her alone uh, and she was very depressed she used to like uh, cry she used to behave oddly and she did not love her baby at all you know why because uh, she always felt that she was the reason uh, like her baby was the reason for daisy's misery and she never loved her, uh, him or her then uh, after some days a news came to daisy that her husband has already died in the military because he was in the military and he could not make up daisy completely lost her mind she she was devastated by that news she always used to remain depressed she did not eat and she did not take any proper care of the baby the baby used to cry for days and she was to ignore her uh, she did not feed her and days went by like that one day uh, like I, as I already uh, said, that she completely lost her mind. Like, puri tarah se wo pagal ho chuki. Um, Daisy was going about in her corridor, and she saw a picture of their entire family, where uh, she was there, her husband was there, and a baby was there uh, in her arms. That is her baby. Um, she was staring at the picture blind, blankly for some moment when her baby started to cry. She was a, like uh, Daisy's baby. She was it was just an infant, and it was obvious for the baby to cry. Uh, Daisy did not focus on that. She was blankly staring on the picture when suddenly 
she completely lost it she she completely lost it she became mad she took that picture from the wall she threw it on the uh, floor and 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 the and the picture was scattered the glass was totally scattered she took up a gla- glass piece from there went to her baby and stabbed her to death like not just once she stabbed her more than like five or six times she kept on stabbing her uh, stabbing <sighs> stabbing her baby until he was dead and after that daisy with the same piece of glass with which she stabbed her baby to death she cut her own neck and there then and there her entire family was destroyed so this is the legend uh, legend of blue baby that we get to know and what do you talk about the game it is said that if at 3 pm you go to a mirror in a closed and dark room switching off all the lights you just have one or two candles place it there and fold your arms like you're holding a baby and then you say baby blue blue baby 13 times it is said that you can feel a weight in your arms as if you are holding a real baby and sometimes you can even see a disfigured uh, creature or something on the mirror it is said that and even if that thing like baby blue blue baby does not work out then what you need to do is say which, which is uh, a little more dangerous baby blue i know what she did to you you need to say this 13 times looking at the mirror and it is said that this is the time when you will see definitely see a disfigured uh, like a uh, creature in the mirror and that person it is said to be daisy blue and she will shout out so loud that even your glasses may crack that is what is said in the legend and if you feel a really feel a weight on your arms before uh, she comes and breaks the glass what you need to do is take your baby and throw it or like it will be better if you flush it down the toilet or just dis- dis- discard it that is what is said otherwise you may you might be even killed now when i was reading this uh, legend in the in the google i was really scared and i can't express I, i i was having goosebumps okay um, because if you see the story it's really horrifying a woman being so heartless and with a piece of glass stabbing her own child to death it was a bloody massacre like like you can't even imagine that and it is definitely like i, I have uh, went through some of the videos on youtube and i have saw that a lot of people have experienced um, some kind of paranormal activities and i don't know because when i did the bloody mary thing i did not really experience anything though i did it at a uh, trip uh, this time if you guys will give enough likes or if you guys would comment down below that if you want me to perform because these are not really uh, things that uh, we can make a joke out of okay like even if, if we if, even if we don't believe like i don't believe it but still you never know what can happen to you okay especially when you are doing it alone in a closed room at the devil's hour that's that's something terrible not everyone can afford to do thank god i'm not scared otherwise i would be like running to the toilet a thousand times if you want me to do this challenge and do not forget to comment down below uh, i will probably uh, make a video on the challenge and, and i'll post it in the next video so stay tuned if you have not subscribed to my channel subscribe to it and i don't really know what to say because uh, i i'm like really shit scared to do that like you can imagine like if something really i can't even express how much scared i am right now okay so i will see you guys in my next video if you and uh, do not forget to wear masks go out uh, remain safe properly sanitize yourselves and because the covid is not over yet it is no less than a, than a baby blue challenge okay covid challenge is no less than baby blue challenge so stay safe and you guys know i love you so much i'll see you guys in my next video tata bye bye stay safe stay ghostly